A local nonprofit track and field club is putting Dayton on the map. They recently took home several medals at a national championship. Two News reporter Kelly King shows us how it is what's working in Dayton. The Dayton Wolverines Track Club started in 2009. It's made up of five to 18 year olds all across the Miami Valley. They come here a couple times a week to Triangle Park in Dayton to practice and their hard work is paying off. They say practice makes perfect and these athletes are proof. Last year I got sixth place, but this year I got first. 14 year old Jade Jones took home gold at this year's AAU National Junior Olympics Track and Field Championships held in North Carolina. It meant a lot to me and to my family and coaches. Like Dayton Wolverines head coach Keith Ways. Not only did our All-Americans win, but we had several athletes that PR, they set personal records, and there's nothing like being setting a personal record at a national level competition. And they admit it took some work to get here. We had to practice hurdles for like an hour and a half for two days every week. With some encouragement from Coach Keith. That coach is really nice. Is he mean sometimes? <laughs> yeah, he's mean sometimes. How's he mean? When we're being a bum. And then what does he do when you're being a bum? Yell at us. That's called motivation sometimes. <laughs> that motivation translated into some hardware on the national stage. I got fourth out of 65 people in the triathlon. The Dayton Wolverines brought home 11 medals. 10 year old Chloe Chapel earning three of them. I feel really awesome for all this hard work I've been doing for since starting starting track. Even more important than those medals is the pride and perseverance they've learned. I was almost to the end of the race and then my um, trail leg hit the hurdle. I fell and I had to hurry up and get back up um, to get up there and I got it. Never giving up and fulfilling their potential. It's my first year and I've been working hard to get this. Competing against roughly 14,000 other athletes at the national level, they showed what they got and now they have something to show for it. The Dayton Wolverines are starting their 2023 season now with fall training. Reporting in Dayton, Kelly King, 2 News, working for you.